there's another ice house. Literally two in a row. Yeti. Gosh, dude, that's a nice ice house. Getting towed by a nice truck. You guys, this is sick. This is freaking sick. There we go. There he is. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are. Gassing up. On our way, we got four hours left. All righty, guys, at the Shields here in Fargo. Um, but yeah, I gotta get a little bump board, so let's head on it. Alrighty guys, just got back to the truck. Um, we've got the little adjustable frayable bump board. Shields is a dope spot, really sick I found this. And, uh, let's go get some food now, I'm starving. Uh, I'm gonna do a uh, three entree plate, please. Thank you. Welcome to Minnesota. Oh, what is going on, guys? Uh, today should be a fun one. We're at Mille Lacs. It's right behind me. Got all my stuff in the truck bed there. Uh, lake's right there. Current local time is local on the eights. It's 9:08 a.m. right now. I decided to sleep in last night. Uh, my alarm was set for, what was it set for? Ooh, 4.45 in the morning. Get to the bait shop by six. To get out fishing by twilight, I think is what I wanted to be out there by, like seven-ish. But yeah, rolled up here last night at about midnight. The bed is actually pretty comfortable. The first night I didn't actually blow up my air mattress. I just left it deflated. So my hips were kind of digging on the, on the seat here. But last night I blew it up and it was Comfy. Much comfier. I got three pillows, nice zero degree bag, and then I got pretty much three um, bed mattresses. So it's pretty comfy. Um, what's the wind like right now? I'd say six to seven. <laughs> I'm coming out of the east, I believe. I kind of want to get a few fishing reports off Facebook and various social media. Get the pound. Gosh, I would love to get a 27. My goal for Mill Axe is a 27. Chicago Wea blew my mind away when I landed that 23. I wish I had a bump board. Wish I had this guy. Shit, instead I went to Shields and bought that stupid sticker, stuck it to my sled and it fell off. So, and it's just a horrible. Fish actually sit in this thing, you know? It's actually, it can actually hold the fish. So, um, like I said, the plan of attack for today is research some uh, fishing reports, figure out where we're gonna go and how we're gonna get there. And we need some minnows. So we're on the hunt. Um, Okay, we're into the Millax ice fishing. There we go. There's a nice little 27 boy. Have a blessed day, everyone. Dude, I have no idea how big that walleye was that I caught in South the, or North Dakota, dude. Oh, I don't fish Millax very often, but when I do, I don't have much luck. Ooh, Hunter's. Hunter's just been grueling. The wind comes out of the south, the wind comes out of the west. Non stop, get things cleaned up. The wind switches, throws it all back in. So we got all of our interior, everything at Liberty cleaned up and ready to go for the weekend. We also have right now a road out to the boot and no name. And we are also going to uh, go ahead and put um, our loop in today out on the mud. So I'll let you guys know how that goes later on in the day tomorrow morning. But that's the plan um, for what we're going to do. We are letting out uh, pretty much everything at this point. Make sure you swing into the bar, um, get your road pass. If you are gonna go out of Liberty, we do have a guard shack down there that you can check in. If it's uh, after hours, you can just come to Hunter's Point and we can get you. What happened to the sound? Um, if you do need a spot plowed, let the bartender know. Um, whoever's taking your, giving you the road pass, let them know so we can get it uh, coordinated so you can get out fishing as uh, soon as possible. Um, this weekend, I, I anticipate there'll be a, uh, uh, quite a few people going out. The one thing that I do want to stress, do not drive through the banks. Um, we push all the snow to the south and to the east side of the roads and make sure that uh, you guys do not drive through it. It's gonna be uh, your thinnest ice, the weakest ice, but um, 
we will uh, be out plowing spots for people. So just let us know, and we will see you this weekend. Thank you. Oh, yes, you will. You will see me this weekend, Hunter's Nitties Hunter's Point Resort. Um, I think they also have minnows. Wood Edge, Woods Edge at Dares. Dude, Eric Peterson is out here fucking slaying. What's up, people? I'm still out here. Black Slick. Catching my favorite fish in the world right here. Take care. Let's get this thing back. Dude, let's get out there and catch me a fucking big one, eh? Like some cro There's crappie in this lake. I think I probably have enough info from Facebook that I need. Gosh, dude, I'm just so tired. So tired right now. I also need to find a gasser because, you know, I need some gas. <laughs> Let's see. So all we need... I actually got water, too. <laughs> Woo! Showing up on a Friday morning to Minnesota's, like second largest walleye factory <clears throat> on opening day of roads out to the mud flats probably in hindsight folks wasn't the the brightest option there's another ice house literally two in a row yeti gosh dude that's a nice nice house getting towed <laughs> by a nice truck who all right guys just got um minnows up at the malmo market and we're headed to um apparently we're headed to uh nitty's Hunter's Lodge or rest or that's my plan. I'm sticking to it, dude. I got to get out there on the ice ASAP. See you out there. Continue straight onto Xerxes Road. Speed limit, 10 miles an hour. Okay, I just got my pass. Here's the little uh, map that they give you, which is pretty sick. I'm looking out at the at this stuff, and guys, there is so many f people out there right now. It's not even funny. Gosh, I think the uh, the general gist is get away from the crowd, dude. This is crazy. I've just never seen anything like it before. This is definitely crazy. Sometimes, like when you venture to a new spot, you gotta just like chill for a sec, look around, and just take it all in. You know, I'm I'm even here at the little bar, and I'm just taking it in. Like, there's a lot of people here. All right, first things first. I'm gonna shoot this map to Owen Wilcox. <laughs> I'm just gonna snap a pic to Owen, Odub. Bro, where are you starting? Spot that I like is right here. Actually, it's right here. Because I can bounce up and down. I don't even I don't even know what it looks like. I'm just looking at this map. I kind of like that. And it's out there, so it's gonna be away from the crowd. I'm looking at all these people and they're like, I don't know. I don't know where they're at, but we're gonna have to get out there and find out where we're going. <laughs> Okay, dude. Let's get out there. That old boy's got some chains on. That boy was out there in a Highlander. Dude, I don't know where I'm going. Hmm. Absolutely no idea where I'm going here. This is sick, I'm not gonna lie. 10 miles an hour, I'm going a little fast. I sure am. Dude, this is crazy. I wanna go left. I really do. I wanna go left. You guys, this is sick. This is freaking sick. Dude, there's so many people here. There's a highway. Holy crap, this is insane. So sick, dude. I am literally driving on a highway. Where's that guy going? Dude, there's so many people out here, dude. Oh, looks like the deal is don't get off this road. Hunter's Point Road. That's not what I want. Bass around here, around these parts, yeah. And that old Montana two hand. Give him that old Montana two up. Two up, one down now. Come on. I moved. I drove about eight miles out into the middle of the lake. Um, they call this the flats. It's 122, I have yet to get a line wet. I'm still trying to figure out like exactly how I'm gonna do this. I don't see a lot of pop-ups. I mean, right here is the most amount of pop-ups that I've seen and there's one, it's windy. She sure is windy. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get a little bit of a game plan. Um, this is a good spot though because 
I can bounce around the mud flats from right here, which is sick. Ooh, I'm gonna check the wind report. Um, 16 degrees, uh, pressure is 30, perfect. I don't wanna fish in the wind. Dude, it's windy out here. No, it ain't bad. Bad at all. We're gonna get some snow tonight. Uh, sunrise, 7.55 a.m., sunset, 4.55. That's kind of what I'm planning my uh, bite windows around. Dude, I swear to God, I saw half these fucking huts drive by me today. You know, find a certain depth range. I'm looking at 27 to 28, 32 maybe. We'll see. Um, just kind of start popping some holes and start fishing. Trying to mark a few fish, and maybe we can put one topside. So if I get one topside, I'm going to be jacked. Absolutely jacked up. Um, yeah, I haven't even put the bibs on yet. That's what I'm doing next. Time to get rolling. Let's go. I have my first hole popped here. I drilled one hole and I got water on my auger bit, so she's froze, and I can't drill a second hole. So I'm gonna throw the buddy heater out, try and thaw that, and then figure out maybe this spot or go to one more spot before four o'clock. It's 3.34. That's gonna fog up here shortly. All right, we gotta get down there, we gotta mark. Oh, come on, there's a mark. Yo, when is freaking sunset again? My auger bit is like totally iced up, so I'm in here trying to just, like slightly just sitting here and turning it. Dude, there's another fish down there, bro. Oh my gosh, come on. Dude, my heart is racing right now, dude. He's coming in again, he's coming in again, come on. Oh my gosh, dude, how many, that's like three marks, dude. Dude, I need another fucking hole, dude. Oh, wow. Let's go, dude. Oh, let's go. Is he gonna smash? Come on, hit it. Fly back up to it. Dude, there's no way. Dude, what's the deal? Dude, he needs to bite it. Come on. Wow.
got him. Oh. Oh, shit. Wow. All right, I got the second hole drilled finally. We are marking fish. Okay, take the coat off. This right here, boy. There's a fish coming in, dude. Is he gonna hit it? We need to figure something out now. I like a hyper hammer right now, I really do. All right, guys, we are busting out the brand new Della Bay rod, the Rip and Rattle. Yeah, that's the fucking ticket right there, boy. Oh yeah, I like this, I like this a lot. Okay, we are taking a minnow head and putting it on the hyper hammer because this bait is gonna be my column in bait on the rip and rattle with the PC Fun Viper X2. Yeah, this is beyond dirty. Yeah, love. All right, got one on the screen, marking, marking. It's all the interference, bud. Oh, shoo -wee. all right then. Well, we've been out here for an hour. We marked a bunch of fish. Um, time for a beer, yeah? A little celebratory white claw? No. Let's go Kurs, huh? Classic Kurs light, boy. Let's go! He's going over the dead stick. Is he gonna clap that? Is he gonna bang that or what, Dad? Dude, what are these fish doing? Dude, unbelievable, bro. Dude, on, these fish are flying around right now. Oh my gosh! Yo, what is happening? Dude, unbelievable. Dude, fish are flying around. What are those? All right, I gotta set this rod up. Gots to, I gotta go straight minnow. Dude, he's just sitting at me minnow. We are gonna switch real quick. Snoot hook a minnow on the tip dip and see if we can't get one to go that way. Fish immediately comes up to the dead stick. Womp it. Come on. Dude, usually when they rifle up like that, that's a that's a hit. I just don't get it, dude. What is going on with these walleyes? What is going on with these walleyes? I'm gonna rock pink hyperglide. Oh, all right, guys. Little update for you here. Um, we're about an hour and a half in. I'm marking a bunch of fish. Like, this is my first spot. I'm marking a bunch of fish. Dude, I don't know. I'm going to downsize, I think. Dude, I should be really catching a bunch of fish right now. All right, we got everything recording. Dude, at some point, these fish should get fired up. You would think... Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Dude, I'm just really amazed that, like, the dead stick isn't going with this, what's going on here. That is a big fish. Dude, I don't get it. He's literally on my minnow. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, boy. First Millax walleye right there on the Hyperglide. Absolutely T-boned. Let's get him off. All right, guys, we are gonna let him go. I got you right here. Oh, wow, look at that, he jumped at me, Hans. He didn't wanna leave, he didn't wanna leave. There you go, bud. Dude, first Millax walleye, let's go, dude. Let's go. On the pink Hyperglide. Oh, huh. I don't know if you guys can tell, that's the pink Hyperglide, let's go, dude. Insane, dude. Beyond jacked up right now, boy. Didn't even measure him. I probably kind of should have, I guess. I'm not too overly worried about it. First Millax walleye, dude. Could not be any more jacked up. So jacked right now. First one, let's go! Let's go! Fuck yeah! Gosh, dude. All the way from Montana to Minnesota. Got an eye on the ice, boy. Let's go, dude. Da -da 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 oh, Alrighty guys, uh, back in the truck here. We're gonna wrap it up for the night. Uh, the last few hours there were super slow. Really didn't mark much. I feel like I was a little too deep for the most part. I just parked the truck here off the road, put the shack up and popped a few holes. Ironically, the holes that I popped, or the one hole that I popped, I did mark a few fish, so I just stayed there for the duration of the night because um, I felt like moving would probably be a little more tedious than the payoff, I guess. So um, I ended up catching that one walleye, which is a major success. I mean, I've gone a many day getting skunked on walleye and to show up in the lax and actually bang one first real day here is pretty sick. So gotta get a good night's sleep and uh, yeah, get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a full day out here. So uh, getting batteries charged, we got GoPros, we got big camera batteries, we got drill batteries, we're getting ready. So that's that guys, if you like this episode, like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. Tomorrow should be a banger. So sleep tight, sweet dreams, and we'll see you in the AM. <laughs>